Glad to have you join us on the newsroom. I am Sinisola Adipun. Minister of Labour and Employment Chris Ngege says the federal government does not have the funds to meet its obligations in the agreement signed with the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. Speaking in an interview on Thursday, Ngege pointed out that the 1.3 trillion naira revitalization fund was a promise made to ASU by ex-president Goodluck Jonathan when Nigeria's finances were stable. Ngege said the government was considering a renegotiation of the terms of the agreement with ASU in the effort to end the ongoing strike by university lecturers. The House of Representatives has again rejected a bill to prohibit public officials from sending their children and wards to schools abroad without approval of the Minister of Education. The bill comes on the heels of yet another shutdown of federal universities occasioned by strike and back upon by the Academic Staff Union of Universities ASU over the 20, 2009 agreement. The bill by Rep. Member Sajios Ogun proposed that public officers can only send their children or wards to foreign schools after approval of the Minister of Education. The federal government is committed to building a strong armed forces. Defense Minister Major General Bashir Magashi gave the assurance during the Armed Forces Special Day at the ongoing 43rd Kaduna International Trade Fair. The minister said ongoing efforts by the federal government to establish a military industrial complex is a pointer towards the current administration's drive to improve self sustainability in the armed forces. Ghana's Ministry of Youth and Sports says fans that will be in attendance to watch the Qatar 2022 World Cup qualifier between Ghana and Nigeria at the Cape Coast Stadium on March 25 must be fully vaccinated before gaining entry into the match venue. The country's Football Association President Simeon Okraku had in October 2021 announced a no vaccination, no entry policy for fans ahead of the 2021-22 league season. Okraku added that the Ghana Health Service will mount a vaccination center at Kumasi, Cape Coast, Takradi and Tamale Stadia one week before the Ghana-Nigeria Derby. The Bureau of Public Enterprises has kicked against a bill at the Senate seeking to repeal the Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission Act 20, 2005 and enact the Public-Private Partnership Regulatory Commission Act 20, 2022. Rather. Director General of the BPE, Alex Oko, in his submission at a public hearing on Thursday, kicked against the bill on alleged grounds of duplication of funds between the proposed agency and the BPE. He thereafter appealed to the Senate to stand against any legislation that will worsen interagency collaboration through a duplication of functions. In international stories, a powerful bomb has exploded inside a Shia mosque in Pakistan's northwestern city of Peshawar on Friday, killing more than 30 worshippers and wounding dozens more. The explosion occurred as worshippers had gathered in the Kusha Risalda Mosque in Peshawar's old city area for Friday prayers. In recent months, Pakistan has experienced an increase in violence. Dozens of military personnel have been killed in scores of attacks on army outposts along the border with Afghanistan. Ahead of the World Cup playoff between Ghana and Nigeria, Ghana's head coach Otto Addo has announced that five of the Black Star squad would not make the team for the double encounter. Sources have revealed that the new coach could officially name his team for the games by the close of this week to begin camping around 18th to 20th of March before the games in Cape Coast and Abuja. The first and second legs of the clash between Ghana and Nigeria will be played on March 25 and 29, respectively. That's the latest on the newsroom. We'll bring you more at the top of the hour.